Daniel's knights had transformed into a relentless battle against the looming specter of a colossal Galvatron, plunging him into a torment of recurring nightmares. Spike and Carly, deeply concerned for their friend's well-being, sought the wisdom and guidance of Rodimus Prime. In a moment of profound empathy, Rodimus Prime managed to comfort the distressed Daniel, offering him a brilliant coping strategy. He encouraged Daniel to envision an imposing Rodimus figure, ready to stand guard against the menacing Galvatron. As Daniel began to drift back into slumber, a flicker of relief crossed his face, but before peace could fully settle, an unexpected, nightmarish tentacle lashed out from the shadows. Meanwhile, in a distant realm disconnected from Daniel's ordeal, Rodimus, Ultra Magnus, and Springer found themselves navigating through an eerie shroud of thick fog, only to be blindsided by a relentless assault from the Predacons. Yet, this was no ordinary confrontation. Both Autobots and Decepticons soon discovered themselves under siege by grotesque and impervious monstrosities. Unbeknownst to the battling Transformers, the nefarious Quintessons had harnessed the raw power of Daniel's nightmares to conjure chaos incarnate, nightmarish beasts. These abominations threatened to obliterate the unpredictable Autobots and Decepticons, trapped in a battle neither side could win. In an unexpected twist of fate, Springer and Razorclaw found themselves confined within a foreboding castle's grim and shadowy dungeons. Here, they encountered a damsel in distress, a princess bound in chains, desperately pleading for rescue. Her offer of rewards tempted Springer, but his noble spirit saw beyond mere treasure. He vowed to liberate her and vanquish the menacing dragon lurking in the castle, while Razorclaw, with an air of indifference, loomed nearby, like a feline on the brink of an unpleasant cough. Back on the battlefield, Rodimus, Magnus, and the Predacons confronted a malevolent witch and an imposing giant. Through quick thinking and resourcefulness, they outwitted their magical adversaries, transforming the giant into a pitiable toad and extinguishing the witch with a well-aimed bucket of water. However, their respite was ephemeral, as a colossal serpent-like horror emerged from the ground, threatening to engulf them whole. Salvation arrived via an unexpected ally, a familiar face at the controls of a life-saving aircraft. The Quintessons, realizing that Daniel's subconscious was bolstering the Autobots, intensified their efforts to quash his influence. In the sinister labyrinth of the castle, Springer devised a daring escape plan, but it hinged on Razorclaw's reluctant cooperation. Elsewhere, Rodimus and his comrades stumbled upon an abandoned amusement park, where they ventured into a whimsical funhouse. Chaos ensued as Rampage and Tantrum faced menacing mirrors, and Dive Bomb plummeted into an enigmatic abyss. Rodimus and Headstrong confronted a towering Galvatron, a challenge ultimately subdued by a colossal Rodimus Prime. The pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place, as Rodimus realized they were ensnared within Daniel's dream, a revelation echoing his earlier counsel. Back within the castle's dark recesses, Springer grappled fiercely with the dragon, desperately needing Razorclaw's reluctant assistance. The princess, cognizant of the peril they faced, urged Razorclaw to set aside his reluctance, as the dragon's wrath spared no one. Reluctantly, Razorclaw became Springer's steed, and together they vanquished the formidable beast. The castle dissolved into obscurity, revealing a radiant yellow brick road. Simultaneously, in the ever-shifting dreamscape of Daniel's subconscious, Rodimus called out to the young hero. The revelation that Daniel sought to rescue the Transformers from his own nightmares jolted the Quintessons into a reckless frenzy, causing them to unleash their destructive machinery at its highest level a perilous choice that threatened to snuff out Daniel's life. As the dream world disintegrated around them, the princess emerged as their guiding beacon, leading the way through the tempestuous chaos. Daniel's unconscious efforts ensnared the Quintessons in their own trap, ultimately allowing the Autobots to rescue him. Razorclaw, still harboring animosity, contemplated the demise of their foes, but Headstrong's inability to transform prevented them from forming the formidable Predaking. In defeat, 
Razorclaw reluctantly ordered the Predacons to retreat. Back in the realm of wakefulness, Daniel stirred from his slumber, the nightmare's grip gradually loosening. He recounted his newfound mastery over the dream world to Rodimus, who assured him, no more giant Galvatrons, and no more snake monsters. Confused, Daniel questioned, hey, how'd you know about the snake monsters? 